So a few months ago, I made a video talking about Paul Giamatti playing the role of Rhino in the upcoming Amazing Spider-Man 2. And now we got some new set picks of him in a mechanical Rhino suit. So you know what? Let's talk about it. So if the Amazing Spider-Man 2 is going to be anything like the comic books, basically Paul Giamatti's character is going to be playing a Russian immigrant who is also a criminal. His name's Ashkab... I can't pronounce it. I'm going to put it right there. And instead of transforming into a huge pissed off Rhino that destroys the city, he's handed over a mechanical suit that's armor plated. It's just really badass. So when I first saw Paul Giamatti in this mock-up mechanical rhino suit, this is the first thing I thought of. Yeah, for some odd reason, I thought of Jim Carrey coming out of a rhino's ass back in the mid-1990s. I don't know why. In all reality, that's very similar to what we're getting because Jim Carrey in Pet Detective 2 was driving around in a mechanical rhino suit spying on people. Then it got too hot and he had to crawl out of the rhino's rubber ass. And another thing that this image reminds me of is in Aliens when Ripley jumps into the loader and kicks some alien ass. You know, it's basically a forklift that can move around like a human. So The Amazing Spider-Man 2 is going to have two villains in it. You already have Jamie Foxx playing Electro who looks kind of like a blue avatar eel thing. And you also have Paul Giamatti playing the mechanical version of the Rhino. Now, another set photo that was taken was this one right here. You have a little boy dressed like Spider-Man standing next to Spider-Man. And I'm willing to bet this is not some kind of big action scene. And the little kid steps in there to help Spider-Man out or something like that. And, you know, Spider-Man actually does all the work while the little kid sits there and pretends like he's He's going to be a hero one day, even though he doesn't understand the concept that you have to get bit by a radioactive fucking spider to become a superhuman. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's late. Anyway, it looks like they're trying to recreate that one scene that they did in the first Amazing Spider-Man where the little kid was about to die in the car and Spider-Man put his mask on him. And it was like a really good feel-good moment that, you know, humanized Spider-Man and made him look like a, a man for the children or something. And it looks like they're doing the same thing right here. I could be completely wrong. I don't know, but that's just my quick take on it. And on a side note, Look at that little kid Spider-Man suit. Like, where the hell did he get that thing? That thing looks very detailed and professionally put together. You know he didn't go buy that at Target for $12. Because the ones you buy at Target come with, like, a little plastic mask with a little rubber band that goes around it and, like, a, a spandex-looking thing. So that was just a quick bit of movie news for you. By the way, if you haven't already, check out my last video where I did a Fast and Furious 6 movie review. And I also did a street race scene in my garage. It's pretty epic, and by epic, I mean it involves Transformer toys and little Matchbox cars. Anyway, check that out, and also let me know your thoughts down below. I'll see you guys next time. Hey, that's Spider-Man. What are you going to do about it? You're going to go out there? You're going to get him. You're going to get him. You hear me, kid? You're going to get him. And that's my Paul Giamatti impression as Rhino.